Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to use a Pirate Chain Paper Wallet. So, hop onto your browser and type in Pirate Chain. Now, the Pirate Chain websites showed up at the top of the list for me, so I'll click the, the website there, pirate.black. Over here, once you're in the website, you go ahead and click Wallets. And scroll down and click paper wallet now I'm on a Mac so I'm going to click Mac OS it's the same for any operating system that you've got now over here I'm going to save the zip file in one of my folders Click save and just wait until it downloads. Right now, I'm going to open the folder where it's downloading to and I'm going to click the zip file and click to open the application. So, the thing is, with the Mac, I can't just click and the application will open. The computer is not it's going to tell me that it doesn't recognize the developers that created the application. So for security purposes it doesn't allow you to, to click and open the application automatically. So you've got to control click to open it. Um, it will As soon as you control click it will open up a, a pop-up and just click open in the, in the pop-up. So here's what the application will look like as soon as uh, it, it opens up. And just to show you this is the the way the application shows up on the on the Mac. So the secure thing to do would be to switch off the internet. It can generate a, a wallet address even when it's not connected to the internet. And we're just seeing the, the raw code over here. But what we need to do is uh, type in a string of random characters and press enter when done. So we're going to do that. And once you're done, you just press enter. And it will generate a whole bunch of uh, things based on the random characters that you've created. Now we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Now you can save all of this information uh, onto a drive. Make sure you store it offline, not on your computer for safety reasons. Most of it you don't really need to to take note of. Um, all you really need there is the address. That's going to be your wallet address, the sending address, and your seed phrase. As you can see there are some other things over here like the viewing key and the private key. Those you don't really need. The, the seed phrase is all you need because the, the wallet will automatically create the private key to spend your funds from the seed phrase. I'm going to put those down over here. Both the seed phrase and I'm also going to copy the wallet address over there further up. I'm just saving it off the screen over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to send funds to that wallet address. So here I've already opened up my account 
with Trade Ogre. I've, I've signed in and I'm going to withdraw some of my pirate chain just to show you. So I'm going to put in a small amount and I'm going to paste that wallet address, the paper wallet address over there. Now what you can see here is it's going to tell you the fee of the network and what you're actually going to be receiving in the paper wallet. And then click withdraw. Now I've got to input my two-factor authentication code over here. I'm just retrieving it at the moment. You're probably going to leave your funds in the paper wallet for a while but at some point you might want to access them and to do that you're going to need to use a um, another wallet so I'm going to show you how to use the pirate chain light wallet so we'll go to the light wallet now that's the one I can use at the moment because I've got a laptop with limited space and I'm working on a Mac so I've got to download the Mac version Now you have to select the operating system that you've got. In my case, I've got Mac Big Sur, so I'm downloading that. And now I'm just waiting for it to download. Okay, so now I'm just going to access the file from my downloads folder and I'm going to send it over the pirate wallet light wallet into my applications folder and I'm going to be accessing it from there. Now I've got to control click since I'm on a, on a Mac because otherwise it won't open for me. So here we are. Now we've got the option to create a new wallet or we can restore wallet from seed. Now we're going to go for restore wallet from seed because we've already got our wallet set up. And now I'm going to retrieve the seed phrase and paste it in here in the box and click finish sorry about the, the screen this, this window isn't fitting quite right I've miscalculated the, the size of the, the screen recording I've got to wait to for the wallet to sync. It's got quite a lot of syncing to do. So I'm going to pause the video now and we're, I'm going to get back to you later once it's done. Okay, so now that the pirate chain wallet has synced, this is what you'll see when yours will sync up. And as you can see, I've got my funds that transferred there from Trade Ogre. And you can manage your funds from this wallet. So this is the receive address. This is the same address we used or I used to send my funds to this wallet and the send tab over there to manage your funds. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video.